Hi, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be serving a hot plate of some hashtag spicy facts about Uranus. I guess there's one thing that I must address before making this video. Uranus sounds like Uranus, and that's hilarious. It takes 84 Earth years for Uranus to make one full trip around the Sun. This means that the average human will not live long enough to observe a full transit. It also means that since William Herschel discovered it in 1781, it has only made 2.83 full orbits around the Sun. Strangely, a day on Uranus lasts 17 hours and 14 minutes, meaning that there are around 43,000 days in a single Uranian year. Uranus rotates on a tilted axis, much like the Earth does. This might lead you to believe that the seasons are comparable to ours, but you'd be wrong. Our tilted axis sits at an acute 23.5 degrees, whereas Uranus rotates on a much more impressive 98 degrees. This is believed to be the result of a massive collision. Uranus appears to roll along from our perspective, and the poles can aim towards or away from the Sun for 42 years at a time. Imagine being in constant daylight for 42 years. The surface of Uranus is not solid. In fact, it's actually quite hard to determine what is the surface of Uranus, because it's effectively a big ball of swirling gas and ice. If you try to land a spacecraft on Uranus, you would observe it sinking through various different layers of gas, and eventually being crushed under the immense atmospheric pressure. The atmosphere of Uranus consists of hydrogen, methane and ammonia. Methane absorbs red light, meaning that Uranus visually appears to be a pale blue slash green. Uranus has a diameter of 31,518 miles. This is much more impressive than our measly 7,917 miles here on Earth. It occupies a volume 63 times more than Earth, but due to its lower density, you would only need 14.5 Earths to balance it out on a big set of hypothetical cosmic weighing scales. You would also only experience 89% of the gravity that you do here on Earth. That is if you were somehow able to stand on the imaginary surface of Uranus. Here on Earth, we only have one large satellite, and that satellite being our moon. I like to think that it serves us well, but I can't help but think that it would be more interesting if we had two. Or 27, like Uranus does. Five of these Uranian moons are what we would consider to be large moons. The names of these large moons are Miranda, Ariel, Umbriel, Titania, and Oberon. They are all very heavily cratered and are littered with vast valleys. Titania and Oberon were discovered by William Herschel himself in 1787. 64 years later, Ariel and Umbriel were discovered by another English astronomer. His name was also William, but this time his name was William Lassell. And a further 97 years later, Miranda was discovered by a Dutch astronomer called Gerard Kuiper. Uranus is one of the coldest planets in the solar system. The atmospheric temperature can go as low as minus 224 degrees Celsius, leaving it 49 degrees warmer than absolute zero. It's certainly not in the top 10 habitable destinations after we destroy our own planet. That's it for today's video. I hope you can leave knowing something that you didn't necessarily know before. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to receive more interesting content as time goes on. Extra spicy.